Hello my friends, this is Ian and welcome to today's video. This is episode number 10 at prompt 11 for Inktober and the prompt for today was cruel and this picture ended up taking me much longer than some of the other ones for two reasons. One, I came up with an idea for this prisoner character who'd obviously been imprisoned in some kind of a dungeon for a really long time, grown a beard, long hair, only got rags on that general aesthetic but I also wanted to use my red ink with this particular picture it's one of the ones that you guys suggested that you might like to see me try red ink with and it's one that I have tried red ink with I I have mixed feelings about the results the problem being if you dilute the red ink in any way obviously it becomes pink which is less dramatic than red, firstly, and also doesn't really, aesthetically, I don't think it would have worked very well with the scene. It would have contrasted with the darker side of it. I wanted to keep a lot of the blacks, so having a really strong casting red would have been nice, but I didn't really want to use the red as blood, which would have been the only thing that I could think of to highlight as red in a dungeon setting like that. Other than I did toy with the idea of his blanket being red. Instead I came up with the idea of having him craning to look out of a window to see a sunset and have it really pulled up close to the character as he's pulling against his restraints in an effort to try and get closer to the window to see this sunset but then not having the sunset in the scene itself, just having the light from it uh, illuminating him or illuminating him out of the darkness. Or at least all of this was the plan. None of it quite went the way that I wanted it to, really. I mean, I like the results. It just didn't quite turn out the way that I would have liked it to for a couple of reasons and the first one came up when I was doing the sketching as I alluded to earlier I really wanted to try and focus on the sketching and make sure that everything felt right and all the geometry and the perspective and the an anatomy and everything was correct. Unfortunately, uh, the lead from the pencil I was using started smudging under my hand, so I used a piece of paper between my hand and the paper that I was drawing on to try and guard it. Unfortunately, what I didn't realise was that in turn was also sliding around under my hand and actually did a lot more damage than, uh, than good. Uh, as a result, I lost a lot of the work that I'd done and I could still make out a lot of it and I didn't really want to go back and redraw the whole thing from scratch so I just kinda went with it and that was probably my first mistake. The guy's face ends up feeling a little bit warped towards the bottom, uh, his mouth uh, doesn't really feel right to me. I, I I think I'd initially drawn it open and then I'd uh, drawn it uh, more closed uh, later and as a result his jaw feels like it's very dropped down when uh, his mouth is not open enough for that to be right. Also his hand is kind of a funky shape but uh, like I say I, I probably should have just gone back and, and redrawn everything but uh, it all worked out okay in the end. The line out went down really simply. I was going to originally when I first started doing the line art uh, make everything facing away from the light have a much thicker line and I had originally started doing that using the porcupine but I suddenly had a thought to myself that it's already scratching the paper quite a lot just with a single line 
it's not bleeding through yet, but if I'm already go if I'm going over the same kind of area multiple times with this pen which is already scratching the surface, it's probably going to start bleeding through pretty quickly. So I abandoned that idea and decided to thicken up the lines later with the aquash pen and uh, when I'm doing the darker shadow areas. And uh, so there's an area on the hand where the line is a lot thicker throughout. Uh, just just ignore that. You won't you won't notice it by the end of the uh, end of the video. But as the line art progressed, I was beginning to notice all those faults which had occurred when uh, I'd smudged the paper and the problems with the hand, which uh, I think are just me requiring more practice. The one that I had the most problems trying to figure out how I was going to change to try and make work was his right eye. Uh, the one that was going to be in the shadow the most, so I knew I could potentially cover it up just by colouring it black, but I really didn't want to, I wanted to make it right. How I'd drawn it in the sketch, it was too low, and simply with the ink pen alone, I wasn't able to find the right spot, so I decided to complete all of the line work and then come back with a pencil to try and readjust the eye in order to make it work in the sense of how I'd try to adjust the face to make up for the proportions which were now wrong. I think that will make sense. But from now until I pull out the red ink, uh, this is pretty much the same process that you see me do a few times now with the various dilutions of the black ink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out of the commentary for the second and uh, jump back in when it comes in with the red ink and try and uh, talk you through my experiences with that because uh, as I've said it didn't quite go according to plan.
We are now coming up to the point where I started using the red ink in the aquash pen and as I uh, mentioned earlier it comes out pink obviously as it has been diluted down and uh, at first I thought that I could probably work with this to create some kind of a sunset feeling light source and uh, it kind of works I think. I think it would have worked better if perhaps I'd had two colours, maybe a red and an orange that I could have gradiated to in the scene, something like that, but it didn't work quite as I wanted. But essentially what I had tried to do was to use the white of the paper as continue to use the white of the paper, sorry, as the highlights and then the red or the pink light uh, around that area gradiating down into the blacks and the greys of the dungeon. And there are some areas of the picture where I think the effect works really well. The back of the hand especially, I like the way that it works on there. It really feels like you're getting two contrasting light sources as opposed to just a splash of colour in and around the piece, which is unfortunately what I kind of feel like the entire area around the window has ended up looking like. It just has this over pink feel to it. I think either I used too much of it or just put it in the wrong places in order to highlight what I was attempting to highlight. The biggest problem that I had with the red ink though is that it didn't work particularly well in the aquash pen at all. It came out very dry. It was like it was uh, drying up inside the pen and or at least restricting the flow of the water so much that when it came out it felt like a dry brush or at least one that desperately needed to be re-dipped in something. It wasn't really applying any colour to the page and if I squeezed it as you're meant to to get water out, nothing came through. So I suspect that it, the red ink somehow blocks the aquash pen as opposed to the black ink that for some reason doesn't, although the black ink is thicker. I don't really understand it. I'm gonna have to, I'll try and wash out that pen a few times and see whether that helps. I did try it once and it didn't, but I'll continue trying and hopefully I can get it working a bit better for the next time I try and use it. Cause I really want to try it on Scorched. I think it would be a, a good one for using red ink. And that brings us pretty much to the end. I'm pretty happy with the results of this picture, despite its problems or the problems that I had whilst I was making it. I'm 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 happy with the result. It could be a lot better, but art is a learning experience. But anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, guys, take care, and I'll see you next time.